Oh, boys and girls, this is about as um, as simple as it gets, and I don't just mean me. Um, this is a hurricane. That's about, probably as about as simple a guitar build as you can get. We've got a narrow box. All right, so this is a uh, Romeo uh, and Juliet Ta number two. Tubos di alumino. It probably means just cigars in aluminium tubes. Um, but they're loads of fun. Now I've, I'm actually using, I've got some decking timber. Just here. I mean, you'll notice with the builds that I do, and I do this on pretty much most of the builds that I do, I don't actually cut out the headstock. And this is just, this is what I do. And I've, I've been doing this now for probably about a year and a half. And I get a pretty decent string break angle from doing it this way. Um, you'll see this little screw holding down the string as the string retainer for the middle string, which is at the top up here, just there. And I've got oak. So it's a pretty thick piece of oak there on that neck. That's, you'll notice that runs all the way through. And the other thing is, I don't notch the stick that goes through the box. Uh, some builders do. I don't. Um, and there's other builders out there that don't either. Uh, some very well-known builders out there that don't notch the boxes. Um, I've done both. When I first started, I notched the boxes and I found it, found it a complete pain in the proverbial. And considering this small, the width of this box, this is very, I mean, it's very comfortable. Bit of string around there, bit of string around there. It's got a nice balance. It's got a good tone. Now there's no tone of volume on the on the guitar. This is basically just a piezo. No, here I'll show you what I do. Come here, because I've got I've got one. I've got one I didn't prepare earlier. So this 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 one's in the production stage. All right. So this is a neck. So I'm talking about this is about as simple as you can go. All right. So this here, that's the uh, you can see. I keep forgetting, forcing a bit. I use a forcing a bit. Hang on, where is the size that I use? I have tidied up my shop, actually, so which makes things a lot easier. That's the bit that I use there. And I do that first, and this one here is an eight mil drill bit that I push through with um, for the vintage style tuners, or open back tuners if you want. Uh, and I'll use a 10 mil bit for the um, the closed tuners, like the electric guitar style tuners. Um, that just runs straight, you can see that. There's no cut off, there's no, I don't cut it down, put anything in, this is just, this is it, it's the way I do it. Um, I've noticed a couple of people out there who weren't doing this, who are now doing it. And that's all good. It works for you. That's the whole idea of me doing these videos. Um, I'm certainly not the first person ever to have done that. Um, but it's now become part of how I build my guitars. Um, and just on the back here, you'll notice I actually haven't got... Just, on, just in front of the holes there, I'll actually use my fret saw and I'll cut in a little channel. There we go. And I'll put a little fret in, and that stops. That actually stops the strings from digging into the timber. And I've got about an 80-year-old piece of 80 to 100-year-old piece of um, hardwood here. It's come off an old piano. It could be mahogany. It's very, very hard. And I've actually used that for the for the nut as well on this. And I'll be doing the same on this one. 
And this is a little trick here that I learnt from Mike Snowden. Um, and from the podcast that I do. So if you want to check a few things out, look up the podcast on um, the Cigar Box Guitar Builder podcast. Because you get heaps of tips and tricks. Um, and I talk to the people in the know who really know what they're talking about. People like Mike Snowden. People like John Nickel. People like Justin Johnson. So I've been able and very like and no, that's that's just to count a few. So there's other wonderful builders. Shane Soul here in Australia. Amongst some other very, very, very cool builders. So that just gives you a bit of an idea. And this this really it's as simple as that. So there's no cutout here. The whole box, whole box resonates on that wood. The whole thing resonates. It's all in contact. And I like that. Uh, and there's going to be other builders that say, no, you've got to cut it out and it makes an area tone. And I've got thumbs up for that. By all means, if you want to cut it out, go for your life. Um, I just find that this really retains the strength. Now, the big, big reason that I don't do a cutout here and then re-glue on these is because this you can stand on this. All right, you can stand on this. It is so strong. It just retains all of that strength running through here. All right, so there's no cutout. It doesn't go narrower here because even when you cut a piece out of the top here and glue it on the bottom, you, you're making this area here narrower. And that's your, break, that's your break spot here, right there. All right, so this is just tips and tricks from... Adam at Birdwood Guitars on building a guitar neck. Keep it simple, folks. Keep it simple. Now, excuse me while I make a dash off to grab a different neck. All right. Now, this is a different style of neck. All right. Now, here I've got a piece of oak. And here I've got a piece of... Norfolk pine, actually, it's very, it's old growth. It's old growth pine, I believe. And now this is a little different. This is a type of scarf joint, so you can see the angle there. So you can see with that one, that's straight. All right, and it's had the force in a bit, and that allows the, um, I want to say bobbin, but it's the wrong word. The um, top of the machine head. Oh, good on you, Adam, being technical. All right, now this is narrower. I'm not going to need to use a force and a bit on this because this will just come straight through. So what I've done with that, this is a cut here. See that little line there? So all this is, is just flipped. All right, so I actually got that, and I ran that up the bandsaw at an angle. There it is, you can probably see it just there. And then I flipped it. And I stuck it underneath. And there's that join there. It's a seamless join. You can see it, but you can't feel it. It's, it's all smooth. And I've played around with this. And I've kind of got a knife, like going for like a thick, you know, kind of knife edge. But I'm just playing around with this one. And I just got in a new, new box, actually, which I'm considering actually using this on. And doing Lightning Boy guitar out of that one. And I've got one of my favourite, favourite, favourite. Oh, I've got a few, a couple actually left of my flatline handmade mortal coil pickups. And these are the, the ones that Mark Wilmot makes just for me. And I could actually probably, I reckon with that, I could probably even just glue that to the top if I wish to. But I usually like cutting a little notch out and gluing it directly to the neck that's inside there. That's what Eddie Van Halen did. <laughs> so anyway, look, 
that's 10 minutes of me yammering on. All right, but if it helps for any of you new builders out there, that's just two different ways to do the neck. And how does it sound? Well, I'll just plug it into that little, this little beast of an amp here. Sounds great. Make yourself a cigar box guitar and have some fun with it. Peace out. Bye.